so your TPO won't weld. Let's look at a few reasons why that could be happening. First, let's look at proper cleaning methods to prep the surface. Be sure to only use splice wash single ply cleaner when prepping our ultra ply TPO membrane. Using the wrong cleaner can cause the membrane to overheat, making it difficult to weld. It can also leave a film on the membrane that will keep it from achieving a solid weld. Always apply generously and increase the application amount if needed for highly contaminated areas. If there is any cleaning residue left, make sure to wipe it away with a clean cloth. Make sure the cleaner is completely dry before welding. Sometimes it takes a full 15 minutes. Now let's talk about proper hand welding to ensure a strong, precise weld. When it comes to welding the Elevate TPO membrane, there are two types of welders allowed the handheld or robotic welders. The hot air welder is used for TPO membrane and flash details, such as roof penetrations, curbs, along walls, and pitch pockets. Just turn it on and set the temperature to the desired degree. As long as it's set to the melting point, 330 degrees or above, the material will weld, provided the material is clean and dry. The installer is in control of the weld. So if it gets too hot, then pull the welder away to allow it to cool. We recommend performing a test weld to ensure proper welding. The robotic welder is completely different. It's a 220 volt self-propelled machine that welds field seams and larger seam areas. This provides a more consistent weld and reduces human error. And we recommend using this method whenever possible. There are three settings, the speed, the temperature, and the airflow. Test welds should dictate the temperatures required for the application. In colder climates, you may have to adjust the speed, airflow, and temperature to achieve proper welding. For more specific settings, always be sure to refer to the Ultraplied TPO application guidelines. To ensure a proper weld, always probe the welded material seams after it is cooled. Never probe while the membrane is hot. For more information and helpful tips, please visit our website.